MustangMedic.com. Appreciate everything at Mustang Medic. From day one, day sold. Thanks for watching. MustangMedic.com. <laughs> Mustang we work on, buy, com. sell, restore, and most of all, love your Mustang. Brent's new 47-year-old Mustang convertible. All right, the good news is we found threads and we're able to put the seatbelt in on that side. The bad news is we cannot get threads on this hole. There is no bolt behind this driver's side. I've called Brent enough today that I'm going to let him discover this on video because I've had so much back and forth with him. At first, I thought there was no threads on that side. I was able to locate them. Now, I'm like, yay, we can put the seatbelts on and come over to this side after pulling off everything. And there's no threads in this hole. There is no threads for sure. I mean, I can, I can take the bolt right here, stick it in the hole and it just it moves around and I'm not finding any threads so I'm gonna put this back uh, I think we're gonna install the seatbelt on the uh, passenger side but we can't do it on the driver's side we can't do it on the driver's side what the hell is this hole for there's two holes let me see get back get back move your leg move your leg get the hell out of here get the hell out of here you're going too fast I got the I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Oh, Carlos I'm found the other hole. You, Carlos you. found the other hole. I'm telling Why is there two holes there? I'm you. Oh, Carlos stumps me on video. Hole. That hurt. That really hurt. And they glued the carpet down for some reason. I don't know why they glued it down. Well, well, well we found it. All right, Carlos, good job. It. But it's further back. It's further back than the other side. <laughs> It's weird. Why would it be for maybe the seat adjusts further back and that's why yeah. they put it back. Oh, yeah. Ah, we got threads. Yes. All right, Carlos. That's good. Good right? find. Man, this has been a tough day. Yeah. This car has been yeah. a very emotional experience for yes, me. Yes, today. All right. Emotional. We're going to put the back seat belt on and then we're going to figure out if we got to take the seats out to put the other other uh, sides on. Okay. So, what we did was we used this punch and we went underneath the car and we maneuvered it between the exhaust pipes and the drive shaft and we pushed it through the carpet and found where the hole was. So once I found the hole and I had to punch through it basically like this, hear that? That's actually hitting the exhaust pipes right now. Hear that sound? Um, once I discovered the hole, I, I cut in a little bit with a knife, being very careful because you don't want to cut too much carpet away you don't want to see uh, cut carpet. And then I found the hole. So. We got the bottom. This one's done. This one's done. And yeah, we gotta put the light on, Carlos. I can't see. That one's done, right there. And that one's done. And the one between my legs is done. Uh, well, that sounded bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, we turned turn, turn off the swamp coolers, we're planning on driving the car out, and then we realize we're putting the seatbelts on, so we're sweating again. Um, so now I, I've gotten my, my finger in there, and I've gotten it all cleared out. And I, what I did was I used the, um, this in reverse fashion and pushed it in the hole and spread out the, the um, carpet. You have to break through the liner, too. So we've done that, and we're about to bolt in the last seatbelt, which will be nice. And then we're going to take her for a test drive, and we're going to see what we have. We are hoping, hoping, hoping that we don't have a timing chain cover leak, uh, but it's possible that we do. And if we do have that timing chain cover leak, we're still going to deliver the car to Brent, um, but he's going to uh, do the work later himself, or maybe have Mustang Medic do it later for him. We'll see. He's in San Diego, so there's going to be a road trip happening. Um, probably early tomorrow morning. I'm probably gonna go out really early tomorrow morning if motivated, if I don't stay up too late tonight. So here we go. We're gonna be putting the, on the last seatbelt. And fortunately, um, as you guys saw on video, Carlos spotted the bolt. There were two holes. And that's where the confusion was, Brent. I, I put my bolt in the first time and I went, oh great, there's no threads. And then I came back again and put it in the second time and there were threads. So I'm sitting there going, how did that happen? 
<laughs> there's a hole without threads and there's another hole with threads. The one on the driver's side is further back by about four inches. The one on the passenger side is a little bit closer to the seat. I'm only assuming <coughs> that that seat must go back further. So here we go, putting in the last bolt and lock washer on the seat belts. Making sure it's right. It's right. And we angle it up for the for the driver and the passenger. And you will have seat belts in your car. I pray that that timing chain cover is not leaking. We will find out. I am pleased to report that the seat belts are in, back leaf springs are in, front springs are in, water pump is in, radiator is in, filter is in, uh, radiator filter. And now all we need to do is we're going to give her a rinse just to get rid of the residue of the antifreeze that got laying around the engine with some water. I'm going to take her for a drive for about a half hour and I'm going to check out that timing chain cover and hopefully we don't have a leak. If we do, uh, work will be continued by Brent, uh, but the car, the work that we've been hired to do has been done and uh, he might be uh, picking up where, uh, where we're going to leave off and possibly change out that. Um, timing chain cover gasket but I'm praying and hoping that it's not the case and it was just a heater uh, core line that uh, clamp that needed to be tight I'm gonna go over all the clamps again one more time and then you're gonna get to see me driver out of the garage mustangmedic.com please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series if it's not there come back soon <laughs>